Are you ready for the Q4 madness? In this video today, I'm gonna to share with you the top things that I'm thinking about in Q4 that you should be thinking about and how to prepare for it. Stay tuned and we can both smash Q4 in 2022 coming forward. Right, if you don't know who I am, my name is Thomas Parkinson and I've been selling on Amazon now for the last five years doing online arbitrage. Now in the UK, I'm a seven figure Amazon seller, check this out. And in the USA, I'm a six figure Amazon seller, check this out. Now hopefully in the near future, we're gonna expand into another marketplace. And if you're interested in learning about what I'm doing and what I'm learning, do make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. But hey, enough about me, what are we gonna go through today? First things first, number one, I'm gonna talk about why you should consider preparing for Q4. Number two, I'm gonna talk about what you should actually do to prepare for Q4. And then finally, number three, I'll share some top tips and tricks for you that are gonna help you out. So let's get started. So first things first, why should you prepare for Q4? Well, look, Q4 starts on October the 1st and ends at the end of the year, December the 31st. Now, always remember that in Q4, it starts probably around about middle of November until just before Christmas, i.e. the cutoff date. Now, this is due to the fact that many customers are starting to prepare you know, for the holiday season and buying gifts for their family early, you know, mid-November or late, i.e. the 20th of December, get it in quick. Now, you might be asking the question, when should you prepare for Q4? Well, the short answer is, Today. It generally takes about four to six weeks for us to buy, ship, and get it into Amazon and on sale. And obviously, maybe it sits in Amazon for a little bit. So if we start mid-November and go back six weeks, we're already at the 1st of October. Now, 1st of October, that's great. You might want to start there. But interestingly enough, there's a lot of prep work to do beforehand. Number one, you know, if you're just getting started on Amazon, you probably want to get ungated in certain products. Maybe you get yourself set up with a prep center. That all takes time. Number two, if you're probably, you say, an advanced seller, maybe you've been selling for a while, because of the very nature of Q4 and the opportunity available, you're probably going to want to find more deals. And that means like maybe hiring VAs, getting them trained up, and that can take three months. And then also as well, if you're going to be getting more deals in the Q4 period, you're going to have to have a lot of stock available sat in the warehouse ready for the you know, late November, early December madness. Because you've got that stock sat on Amazon, you're going to need cash. And as a result of the cash, that takes time to get available. Credit cards, overdrafts, loans, for example, these things take time. So that's why I say now is the time you really want to be thinking about starting to prepare. Now, I'm not saying you necessarily need to be buying, but you probably want to get all the other systems, places, stock, or should say prep centers, VAs, money, credit facilities available so that when you do start buying, all those problems are solved and you can now just focus on the buying part, ready to be shipping in in the Q4 getting those sales of November and December. Quick question for you guys. I'm talking about Q4 and obviously preparation. I wanna know what you're preparing for right now in Q4. Let me know in the comments down below. Maybe there's something you're doing that I'm forgetting and I can learn from you. Let me know what you're thinking about for preparation for Q4. Now, this takes me nicely onto chapter number two, which is really about what should you prepare for Q4. And I kind of talked a bit about in Q1, but let's really go into some detail now and support you with it. So first things first, capital. Now, sales in Q4 are gonna increase, and this is gonna make more money in Q4 than in your other quarters. Generally speaking, you should, unless you're doing something else. Now, with this in mind, you're going to need to, as you say, get yourself set up by holding more stock in Amazon because, you know, it does go a bit crazy and you really want to load up the stock early. And then obviously when the craziness comes in, you've got that really big buffer. What does this mean? Well, this means you're going to need to have more cash to invest in the stock to hold. Now, you might be asking the question, how? There are lots of options on how you can increase your capital or cash within your business. And it depends on the resources you have available. But the most common thing that most people do, you know, to increase stock purchases is by credit cards. Now, by doing this, you can leverage your capital to purchase more items or more units of stock. And the net result is that it's just going to increase the amount you could hold in Amazon ready for that Q4 madness. But also remember the one thing I will say is that credit cards are debt. So do be strategic and be careful about spending on them. Now, what I will say is if you want to know more about, should say, credit cards, what I'll do is I'll drop a video up here of how I use credit cards in my business and how you two can as well. So check that out. Now, now, the second thing I really recommend is, as the saying says, two heads are better than one. Now, what does I mean by that? Well, quite simply, if it's just you, why not hire someone? Why not have a virtual assistant or a VA in your business that's gonna help you prepare for getting ready? Now, one of the top things I really recommend with having a virtual assistant is to get ready early. One thing I really recommend for you is if you do get a VA, specifically have that conversation, have that brief about what the Q4 is, the gold rush, and what they need to do to up their game. Also, give them time to learn the game prior to the Q4 rush 
brush and also tell them about any strategies you have. So be sure to teach them by making your VA trained, informed and educated about the strategies. They're going to perform better and your Q4 is just going to go boom. Now in my Amazon business, I have incentive schemes whereby if my VAs outperform Q4 revenues and last year, they're going to receive additional cash bonuses as an acknowledgement for helping the company grow. Now giving incentives to your VAs can really help motivate them to work harder, achieve better results and obviously overall help the business not only in top line revenue but in bottom line profitability so it can really help now the third top tip i recommend for you is talk with your prep center or if you don't have one get one today now if you are using a prep center make sure that you have the conversation with them like what's going to happen what's their plan for q4 what you're really looking for in a good prep center will either close to new customers or reduce down new customer applications during the q4 period why because q3 is very different to q4 everyone spend generally goes up in q4 and as a result it's going to mean more work for them now if everyone else's stock is going up i mean they're sending in more shipments and your prep center is taking on more customers generally speaking it means that somewhere is going to be a problem and they're going to get overloaded now also as part of having this conversation you want to have a conversation to understand how they're going to be operating there are any special considerations around q4 and any top tips that they can advise you about delivery schedules what's going on so that you can just plan around that within your amazon business now for example in my amazon business we are looking you know new prep centers who can stand by for us when our current prep center perhaps maybe gets overloaded or there's a problem last year we had a real wish in the US whereby they just couldn't accommodate our increase in shipments and I think also though, having that conversation with your prep center about what their plans are, are going to give you confidence or if maybe they're not ready and they don't have a plan and perhaps maybe you might want to have another prep center on you know, standby that you can transition to if your current prep center slows down like they did in my situation now if you are looking to make this the best Q4 ever and I mean ever because last year was the best for me and I hope to make this again. If you're hoping to do that as well, then what do I recommend is to start building your team today, the team of sourcing VAs. And if you are interested in the sourcing VA, look no further than Fast Track FBA, VA Academy. This is a service I created whereby we find, hire and train and support a sourcing VA in your business for 12 weeks to get results. Any problems, you give us a call and we will have our team jump on a one-on-one -on -one call with them and do aftercare training support until you are happy and they'll obviously signed off my team. Now, quite simply, we have a whole system in place of she say finding these great people and training them to a really high standard and if you want to know how well we've done it we've hired over 500 VAs for our clients and we've got 250 clients do the math most clients have two VAs from us which shows you the power and how good it works so if you are interested and want to learn more have a look at the link down below fasttrackfba.com slash VA and you can book a free 30 minute consultation call with my team check it out I think you're gonna love it Fast Track FBA VA Academy now this leads me nicely on to my third chapter some top tips for you now what do I recommend well first things first number one review your purchases from last year start with your q4 preparations with the products you sold last year you know what worked what had high sales you know what was a bad product what was profitable look for ways on how you can say improve the products you're purchasing that you sold from last year and look at also further opportunities that maybe you didn't take advantage of last year that's something super important now for you you've already got this data don't reinvent the wheel copy from last year you know what was in demand check out that data now the second thing I really recommend for you is if this is your first time setting in Q4, do not worry. What you can do is look for seasonal products which have a peak sales during the Q4 period specifically, looking around Christmas. And what do I mean by this, like seasonal products? Seasonal products that are really items which are only really going to be in demand around certain times or certain occasions. For example, like sun cream in summer, um, you know, chocolates in Valentine's Day, or like advent calendars in Christmas. Now, if you want to know more about seasonal products, what to look for and how to identify them and obviously see when they come into season, then do check out a video that I created about seasonal products and I'll leave it up here. Now, my third top tip is stop shipping. Now you might think, hey, this is crazy. Why are you saying to stop shipping? Well, hey, don't worry. I'm not saying right now. What I am saying is you need to identify the date when Christmas products are going to stop shipping. Generally, this is after the, like around the 12th. And I think right now it's going to be about the 15th. If I ship a product on the 15th, for example, and you'll probably understand this around the 5th of December, how long does it take before it gets into Amazon and on sale and then sold? And the reason why I say that is because what 
you don't want to be doing is shipping in Christmas stock on the 20th. It doesn't actually get on sale until the 1st or the 26th. And all of a sudden you're now stuck with Christmas stock outside of Christmas. And the net result is you've got another year to wait before those products get shipped in. Put a date in the calendar, stop sourcing for Christmas products. Amazon doesn't close. So if it's going to sell after Christmas, again, check the keeper chart, you can still sell it. It's to ship it in, that's fine. But if it's like advent calendars, Christmas related things specifically for Christmas, generally after the 12th up to about the 15th at the latest is where you want to be stopping shipping those items in or sourcing them, should we say. And the net result is obviously just keep an eye on the, the time of the year and, and also Amazon's, should we say, how quick they're processing inbound inventory. Top tip there. Now, what I will just say for you is always remember that turning over stock is a big part of what we're doing. And, you know, factoring that into your strategy into Q4 is going to be really important. Last thing you want to do is have to sit on stock that you can't turn for another year. Keep an eye on those dates. Now, what I will say is strategically preparing for Q4 will give you a big advantage over the competition and also great opportunities to grow your Amazon business. Now, one way to be more strategically prepared for Q4 is by analyzing what products you are buying and selling by using Keeper. And what I'll do is I'll leave a playlist around here of my Keeper analysis training. Trust me, it's amazing. We've got over 30,000 views on some of these videos. It'll really help you out. Now, this is gonna help you analyze if a product is good or bad to sell within Q4. Check out that Keeper training. I think you'll love it. Drop it around here. Now, hopefully you've liked this video. If you have, give me a big thumbs up. And hey, if you wanna see more, hit the subscribe button down below. But for myself, Thomas Parkinson and Vastrick FBA, thank you very much.